Hello everyone. Welcome back to our RDBMS subject. We have moved to ahead in our RDBMS subjects. We have studied the SQL part. We have started PLSQL part. In the PLSQL, we have learned many things like declaring variable, assigning the value to the variable. How can we connect the variable of PLSQL with the column of SQL? That also we have learned that is anchored data type. Then what we are going to learn now is something very important from the point of view of your practical exams. We will be studying new chapter that is cursor. What is a cursor? How can we use a cursor and when the cursor is used? But before that you tell me how can we fetch the values, values of columns in the PLSQL. How can we fetch the values of columns in PLSQL? That is using what? Using our select into statement. How can we fetch the values using the select into statement? We can fetch the values of columns into PLSQL using which statement? Select into statement. That means what select into works with only how many values? Only one value. You can fetch a single value in the select into statement. That one value can be the value of a column. That value can be value of a column or it can be a single row. We are not talking about more than one. So select into statement kya karta hai? Values fetch karta hai. Kahan se values fetch karta hai? Table mein se value fetch karta hai. Lekin table ki either it can be a single column value or it can be a single row value. But it can't fetch more than one row value. But if it is whatever query you have written in select statement, if it returns more than one row, then you get a message too many rows exception. Too many rows exception ka matlab kya hai? Ek error aega. Too many rows exception error aega. Or is error ka matlab kya hai? The select statement which you have written returns more than one row. And in that case, your program will not work. And if the program will not work, then it is useless of writing your PLSQL program. But it is not always compulsory ke hamesha hum log kya kar sakte hai? Sirf or sirf ek hi value ke upar work kare. हो सकता है हमको बहुत सारी वैल्यूज के साथ वर्क करना पड़े वी नीड टू will fetch the value this value will fetch the value and it will bring it into the RAM 
answer whatever it is there it will bring what employee number employee name into the graph and it is not occupying the complete ram it is just occupying a small portion of the ram so this data is stored where it is stored on your hard disk but when you are firing the query that data comes where into your ram and it is occupying a small portion of your ram and this small portion is the private area of your this small portion is the private area of your oracle engine and this area where the values are fetched and kept is called curse so cursor is nothing but it is a private area where the data from the table is fetched and kept temporarily only this data is temporary it is not permanent why because it is whenever we require the data we bring it from the table to the ram so it is not compulsory that the data is stored stored there tempor permanently it is stored temporary so this area now we will be learning about this area only and this area is which area it is your curse now what we will be discussing we will be discussing about this area and this area is called cursor so what is cursor oracle engine uses a work area for its internal processing in order to execute an sql state this work area is private to the SQL's operation and it is called cursor. The data that is stored in the cursor is called active data set. जो भी data आप currently fetch करके लेकर आते हो table में से उस data set को क्या कहा जाता है active data set. The size of the cursor in the memory is required to hold. What will be the size of the cursor? It will be that same size which is capable of holding the number of rows which is written by your query. Fine. Jitni bhi queries aapki fire hoti hain aur wo query jitni bhi rows fetch karti hain to us rows ko hold karne ke liye jitni jagah chahiye utni hi jagah occupy karta hai aapka cursor. And it is totally dependent upon the size of the RAM. So what is the cursor? It is a private area where the Oracle engine uses for data manipulation and in this n number of rows can be kept. The size of the cursor depends upon the number of rows returned by the SQL statement and actual size of the cursor totally depends upon what? It totally depends upon the RAM of the system. Now there are two types of cursors implicit cursor and explicit cursor now this cursor depends type of the cursor totally depends upon the circumstances under which they are open means what under which condition a cursor is opened determines the type of the cursor a cursor can be implicit cursor or it can be an explicit cursor implicit as the name applies it is automatically created implicit means what automatically fine so whenever up till now we have fired the sql statements in our plsql block in that case the oracle opens a cursor and that cursor information we don't know it is automatically opened by the oracle and that cursor is called implicit cursor Whenever you are firing an SQL statement, the Oracle engine automatically creates a space in the memory and that memory space is called implicit cursor of which the user is totally unaware. हम लोगों को पता नहीं होता है कि Oracle engine ने cursor open किया है तो इस तरीके के cursor को क्या कहा जाता है implicit cursor. Explicit cursor means what? Now, when we require to open a cursor explicitly for our own use, that means what? The Oracle is totally unaware and it is not compelled to open the cursor, but we are compelling the Oracle engine to open the cursor. And that cursor is called explicit cursor. We are opening, that means what? It is a user-defined cursor.
the cursor which a programmer opens for the manipulation of the data is called explicit cursor now normal difference if you want to keep in mind when a select statement returns only one row fine then the type of cursor is called implicit cursor jo hame pata nahi chalta hai और जब हमें बहुत सारी रोज चाहिए वैन वी वॉन्ट मैनी रोज एंड वी वॉन्ट टू मैनिपुलेट दो रोज देन वी कैन क्रिएट अ करसर एंड दैट करसर इज कॉल्ड एक्सप्रेसिड करसर वैन वी वॉन्ट टू वर्क विद वन रो देन वी डोंट नीड एन अ करसर एंड दैट करसर इज क्रिएटेड ऑटोमेटिकली बाय होम और एकल इंजिन एंड वैन वी वॉन्ट टू मैनिपुलेट मैनी रोज एंड वी कैन क्रिएट अ करसर बाय अवर सेल्व देन वी कैन क्रिएट एन एक्सप्रेसिड करसर